What's up? Today I'm doing a product review and the product I'm going to be looking at is this, an urban ball. The urban ball was created in France in the late 90s and it's a ball designed for different artistic activities such as basketball freestyle, dance, acrobatics and of course football freestyle. So how does this ball compare to other balls? Let's find out. First thing we notice about the ball is that it's entirely made out of rubber and there's no panels or stitching. Essentially, it's a balloon. The urban ball is entirely black aside from the decorative flame design which covers the circumference of the ball. When we first take the urban ball out to practice with, we're going to notice very quickly that it's very different to a traditional football. The rubber and the weight of the ball makes it react differently when we juggle, so even basic juggling is going to feel kind of strange at the start. The combination of the weight and the rubber makes this ball pretty much a nightmare for lowers. Even though lowers are possible with the urban ball, it makes things unnecessarily hard and challenging. It's okay for some around the world on some basic combos, but if you're doing some bigger tricks and harder combos, you're gonna find the ball wrapping around your foot and not popping up the same way a regular match ball would. Although the grip and the weight make things hard for lowers, it makes it superb for ground moves and also blocking tricks. These are the two styles that people associate the urban ball with and it's easy to see why some of the best freestylers in the world who train these styles decide to choose the urban ball. Sometimes when doing blocking tricks with a regular football, the ball can slip out through no fault of your own and you can feel hard done by it. With the urban ball, there's a sense of security and it really makes things a lot easier. As for sit-downs, the ball is pretty useful. The bounciness can take a little time to adjust to, but aside from that, it's pretty great. Also, it's good for those sit-down grab tricks. The thing that really surprised me about the urban ball when I first got it is how good the ball is for uppers. I wasn't expecting this, but when you think about it, the grip and the weight really helps give you more control and minimize any mistakes. Overall, I'm happy to have this ball. It looks great, it's durable, and it achieves exactly what it sets out to do. If you're a lowest fanatic, you'll probably want to shy away from getting this ball. But if you're into your blocking tricks, your creatives, and your street soccer, you'll definitely want to pick this up. It's only 30 euros, so it poses great value for money. So that's it for my urban ball review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have one, please let me know what you think of it. It'll be really interesting to hear. Let me know which ball you're using for freestyle in the comments below, and let me know if you're thinking about picking one of these urban balls up. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and come and check out my freestyle gear at learntofreestyle.com. Just go to the store section. I'll be back again with some more reviews in the near future and tutorials as well. Until next time, peace.